What is up guys, Sir I'm gonna back again, also known as the Black Gentleman. And today I'm essentially doing a rehash. And I call it rehash because I've actually reviewed this figure in one form or another. But uh hey, I'm still gonna talk about it. This is a reformatted um R27 SG Calidus Shadow Ghost. And here's the box. And this is one of those kind of nicer old school boxes that actually open up to show you the figure, although he is obviously gone. And normally do we have artwork of the figure, but if you don't see it, you just see black. I guess because he's a shadow ghost, as it were. And this is a little bit of the side here. Picture the figure. And here on the back, you can see the transformation for it. Some of the poses he can hold and how he looks. And here is the other side. And that's it for the box. Now. As always, these things typically come with cards and comics and instructions and whatnot. Here's the card for him, which looks very similar to the original Calvis card. In the back of it, if you want to pause, it's all uh, I believe all the stats are all the same actually. You guys want to pause that? There you go. And here's the instructions slash comic book, which are also pretty nice. Um, the comic book inside this thing is actually the same as it was for the for the original for the original toy or figure, whatever we're supposed to be using for this whole Copa thing. <laughs> uh, let's see here. If you, let's get inside here. Except for I did this review uh, quite a long time ago. It's like one of my second or third reviews, I believe. It's Calvis. and uh, yeah, it's the same. It's the same comic book inside. Nothing changed. Artwork still pretty good. I like it. And instructions the same too, because it's just you know same figure. There you go. In fact, I think this is just, yeah, this is the same instructions for Rodimus. I already know they're they're, they're uh, Calvis. Next to four, this is gonna be a rehash. Yeah, all very much the same thing. This man Megatron. All right. Now as for accessories go. Rehash again. <laughs> it's the same blaster that came with Rodimus. Uh, only thing different is they t they add some nice silver paint to the back of these little fins here. It set off pretty good. And for that for a, a comparison of this, uh, here is uh, the original Calvis or Rodimus is done. As you can see, same same mold, same exact detail. This one has silver on the fins. One was loved a little bit more than the other. It also comes with one more accessory, which is uh, this bow, which is inspired by Transformers Animated. In it too, this is almost exactly the same. Like a nice kind of light uh, pearl, uh, purple color with uh, silver for the spikes here. And oops, to compare it to compare it to the original, here it is. Only difference is that the original had one more paint app than the other, which is these little orange spots. Overall same and without further ado the figure itself as you can see I already have him in his transformed state just so I can show you guys uh, where actually all accessories can go if you take the bow and gun here at the very top get the gun and you can just an angle in there which I, honestly I don't like this but I'm just showing this for the review <laughs> it would never stay like this and underneath just like the original, you can take these two pegs here and these two holes here and press this in. This one, this part here, I don't quite mind as much, but I'm not a fan of the gun on top. <laughs> and there you go, that's how he looks. And I think overall it looks pretty decent. Just you know, just remove the, if you, if you remove the gun anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm a fan, I'm kind of a fan of this because since he is the Shattered Glass Rodimus, I think he would have a little bit of a, some extra right here. You know, a little bit of crowd control. I think that's pretty cool. Now to speak on the car itself. Uh, in my opinion, this uh, because this has so much paint, this actually looks a lot better than the original one. Let me bring it in. The original. And here it is. Um, I mean, man, uh, it's like night and day on the, on these paint apps. On the original, you had almost no paint. Um, you know, minus the little paint apps here, which I've uh, had my cousin do some um, some uh, panel lining, 
and I have some replicas coming in for this thing at some point this week, which I plan to get, plan to really make this guy look even better. Uh, just compare, it's, it's, man, nice. You get all this nice purple paint here, 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 here. here. For him, yeah, you get the yellow, but it's it, it's not look near as good as this right here. In fact, let's go ahead and get him out of the way because this is not his view. Yeah, um, got some nice purple going throughout the front of the fin here, silver here, where the engine section would be. Nice silver pipes here. This is supposed to connect, but I'm having a little, some issues. But if you transform everything properly, everything will line up properly. I think on my figure, uh, size size. I can't get the arm to peg in just quite right right here. So I think it's kind of hurting everything here. But anyway, moving on, moving on, not important. Uh, it has a nice red translucent windshield, which I always loved. I always remind me of uh, Wild Rider when you have that uh, red screen here, nice. Uh, silver pipes here, nice silver uh, fins here, which do come off fairly easy, but it's not a big deal, they go right back in. And a piece of resistance. I love this uh, purple flame design here. It kind of fades out to a to a light pink with blue trim. That is that is sweet. More than you got with the original guy. Although Ripper Labels is going to take care of this right here. Uh, yeah, there's not much to say say on it. Just that it has more paint than the original, and this deco does lend itself better to this mold. I think. Now let's uh, remove these bow and arrow here. Come on, don't you, don't you fight on camera. Alright, let's get a real good look at them both side by side. I think I'll make get better on camera so you guys can see what I'm seeing. Uh, these both look really good together, without a doubt. I think if you pick up one and you don't really care about continuity sake, I say go with the shattered glass. But if you're like me, you know you're about everything at IEW, definitely go for him because at least he fixed continuity. But this is kind of a cool little extra side bit. Uh, <laughs> The negatives are both the side, are both the same for both things, because they're both the same character. It is his hands sticking out the back. I've never been a fan of that, but at the same time, you're never really gonna post it from the back. Well, normal people don't like that, but yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna make this review really quick. Let me go ahead and get this man transformed, and we'll be right back. And just like that, we're back. Uh, it just dawned on me when I originally did the transformation for the original Calvis. I actually showed complete transformation. I should have did it here, but eh, if you want to see transformation, just go back and check out that video. <laughs> now, uh, let's talk about the first thing first. This face. Man, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to take him out of this puzzle guy, man. His face looks really great with this whole, uh, with the whole red eyes. With the red eyes and the uh, goatee. I'm... I'm partial to goatees, and I'm, I'm, I should plan on cutting my beard away, cut it back into a goatee, because I'm you gotta have my beard. But that aside, back to the figure, he has a really great goatee. Uh, that's, that looks nice. He has a very uh, Spock mirror mirror for the Star Trek fans. That looks really great. And um, one more accessory that I did forget about. Let's move him back for a second. It, it just comes with a alternate head. This gives him the uh, same thing as normal calculus. Has a slight smirk, but you kind of lose it thanks to the goatee. But I may change it eventually. It doesn't really matter to me. Because uh, I don't mind this one having a more, you know, sterner expression because, well, you know, he's evil. He's shattered glass. Um, yeah, I just wanted to bring that face into full effect because this is really nice. And uh, speaking, of, speaking of nice, the uh, paint apps continue to show through way better. With this nice purple here for the crest. Purple on the sides of the intakes, a little bit of silver inside. Back to that awesome uh, painted crest they gave him. He has uh, silver paint here on his hair on his uh, thighs. Silver more silver paint here on the knee. Purple paint here inside the knee. Silver paint down here on the pipes. Some more purple accents on the side here. And same on both sides. And uh, <clears throat> always on this mold, I always like how the back cleans up really nice. I mean, you, know, you still see the cockpit here, the wings, but that's all. It's, it's all gravy. Very, very, um, very, very nice tight profile. Always look really good. As for his uh, <clears throat> articulation, it's the same as the other one. Uh, thanks to his hinge on the arms. Let me pull this out here. You can kind of get a little extra extension. Uh, the fins do get in the way of 
full 360 rotation. But, you know, it's all good. I, mean, I don't think anyone is really that mad because he needs to have his fans. He's Rodimus. Uh, on the, on the uh, elbow here, get a double bend. Mostly for transformation, but it's there if you want to use it. Get a bicep uh, rotation. Get a full 360 out of that. Hands do open. Oops. As you can see, and the one finger that's separate is the uh, index finger, which you get a bit of a come here motion, which is nice. Same on the other side, uh, 360 waist. But the cockpit is getting inside. I mean, kind of getting away, so I guess pick that back, not full 360. But I think it's more than enough than what you need. So yeah, legs are do move out forward. On that, it's not quite a ratchet in here, but it's kind of a, I don't know what you would call that. It's not a ratchet, it's more like a little bit of tension that holds it, but it's still all good. Legs, the bend the knee. Can't quite take himself in the ass, although, being laid back, you can almost do it. Uh, thigh swivel. Which is good. Same both side leg, kick up that far. Back that far, bend knee, and angle tilt to a to a slight degree. You know you can go like this and like this. It could go even further, but you get this right here kind of in the way. It's too bad that this was not on a hinge, so it can kind of move out of the, the foot's way. But overall, it's not that bad. I don't hate it. Same both sides there. As for his weapons. You can hold them just fine. You just open the hand up here. And come on, there we go. Slide that blaster right in. Close the fingers back up. So it was, it was blaster very well. And if you want to give them a bow, which I'm not the biggest fan of, certainly can. Hold on a second. Let me open this hand up. Slide that in here. Ah. See, things are always more different on camera. <laughs> All right, there we go. Mm-hmm. And he holds that just fine. Now, if you want to, um, on his back, uh, before where I stored his blaster, you can uh, do the same thing. In fact, just so I'm not taking everything out of his hands, I'm going to grab the normal calluses bow and show you guys how that works. So the bow can store in the back like so. And you can even fold, fold it in to make it a little more compact if you if that's something you want to do. And take that off. Same thing goes for the gun. So that can be stored in the back too. If you just want to get it out of the way. And sometimes I do that for if I suppose I don't want him to hold his gun. And I want to know where I put the gun, put it in the back. Always a safe bet. Now, let's bring in the other Robins for comparisons. And for that comparison, here they are both together. And guess what, guys? Um, I really like this. I really like how they stand together. Uh, this might actually be the video's thumbnail. I don't know. <laughs> don't quote me on that. But this is this, this, this. I like the little poses I got me right here. This, 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 pretty, this is good looking. But yeah, um, as, I, as I keep saying, say re the word rehash is a big thing here. Uh, they're both the same mold. Um, but seeing them next to the next text together like this, this is they really do complement one another. I mean, you, know, you got your light and your dark. And you, go, you know, I, I have one in more of a stoic, serious pose. I got one in more of a, I don't know, what the hell pose. You know, like, hey, I'm wrong, but I don't care. Anyway, <laughs> um, they both have. The, I, I'm not saying while I'm comparing them, I'm also gonna make this video even shorter and go to my final thought now. Uh, whatever flaws these figures have. Uh, they both share the same flaw, and I, as I said before, for me, it's the feet. Which, uh, with the, they should have uh, put a hinge right here, so the foot could uh, go in better. But that's my only real true flaw for it. So with that being said, they're both great. I mean, pick up the one that you prefer. There's actually a third model of this, which is the his Lost Light, what I call Revenge Colors. After getaway, um, out in I won't go into that. I won't spoil the spoiler. But uh, <clears throat> certain things happen which makes but puts puts him in a more of a I'm gonna get that ass my state of mind. 
and you know he changed his colors to a more purple one, light blue color scheme. But with that that aside, I think he, <clears throat> I think yet again like Callus, I think he's a, I think he's a great mold uh, of a great character. So no matter which one of these you two would pick up, or it's both just one, you won't be, you won't be disappointed. But if you love paint, I think you want Shadow Ghost because look at him, look at him, all evil and glory is there, and that chest. Uh, that chest is the symbol. It's awesome. I might have to get a, a, a purple Autobot symbol, or I might just say hell with it and put a hole for the console on there. Cause that looks really great. But if you want more heroic and a more carefree and a more of a, I don't know, a, a fuck off type character, you want basic Hellas or Rodimus. With that being said, recommend both. It doesn't matter, pick one. Anyhow, I have rambled on long enough. This has been Soto Nuspa, also known as the Black Gentleman. Out here doing God's work, reviewing these repaints. Until next time, peace out.